Hey guys, so today I'm gonna finally do the review on my NV Nissan passenger van that I've been saying I was gonna do eight months ago when I got this van. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. All right, here is my little monitor screen. I don't know what you would call it. It's kind of dirty and filthy, but this is, sorry, it's shaky trying to get it right get around in here but that's my key the key fog and I'm going to stick it in to the ignition and show you guys what it looks like whenever I turn it on it just kind of shows the Nissan symbol and it's going to show some features on here that you can pick I keep receipts there yeah that's just a little area that's the volume control and I've been having a lot of issues with that I don't know if it's me or if other people have issues with it but it's really sensitive and sometimes the volume doesn't work very well with me. It'll turn up and down crazy. So I don't know. Could be just me. Um, and that's the volume right there. So that is that. Some other features. Then on the right is the tuning, you know, station, I guess changes the station. It's got GPS, backup camera, all that good stuff if you want to use that. Then down here we have the temperature it goes all the way down to 60 degrees it's in degrees and then it can go all the way up to 90 and it's in defrost mode right now so that means the passenger cannot mess and alter the temperature you have to move it to where the airflow is then they can change their degrees so that's pretty interesting then down here we have the cup holders Obviously, I keep hair ties and pencils. <laughs> then we've got, there's four cup holders, so plenty of cup holders. Then that's just the Bible and stuff we left in there over the weekend that I didn't clean out because, well, we have a lot of kids and it's hard to keep everything clean all the time. So, yeah, there's some USB port. There's also heated seats there. You can't really see it very clearly. Another hookup right there for my phone. And this bad boy is one of my favorites. It's a huge, deep console. I'm taking that little part off, but there's a backpack there. It's got some water bottles in it. That's my first aid kit, the little red box right there. But it's pretty deep. It can hold a lot of things, so sticking everything back in there. I put money or change or whatever in there. And I close it. And now I'm showing you guys the heated seats. So that's mine. There's a low and high button. Can't see it too well, but it's pretty interesting. Then the passenger side has one too. So that's pretty neat. And then that little button right there is you can turn the backup camera off. So if there's like view is blocked, you can press it. Tow mode, we haven't used it. We have a hitch, but we haven't used it. Oh, and here I forgot to show you inside the console is a little plug-in, that deep console. Yeah, it has one of those. Now we're showing you the my side, I guess. <laughs> so that's the driver's side. That is the lights. The steering wheel has volume controls. It's pretty good. The phone, I don't really use that too often. And then that is the cruise control. So on highways and stuff. And that is a drawer that is underneath the driver's side. So for more storage, lots and lots and lots of storage here. And that little button, it actually moves the seat. So you can go up, down, back, forward. Then there's the odometer. So lights on, lights off. I'm kind of just fiddling with it there, showing you guys. Then that, because the I pull myself up, you know, usually the this van's kind of tall, so you have to use those if you're short, especially. I mean, I'm 5'8", but I still have to use that to pull myself up. There's a glove box. <laughs> Just some random stuff in there. And then I'm sliding open the one sliding door we got. That's The van only has one. So this is holds three seats. There's some animals down there. The kid's left in there. But this one has three seats right here in this row. And it's got two car seat tethers in the back. So it's good. And then this second row has three seats. And there's two car seat tethers as well. 
Then back in the first row, there's two cur two cup holders um, in that one. And then in the second row, which I'm going to go back to in a second, has two cars or two um, cup holders as well, which is helpful. And then back here, this is in the second row. It's got another little, I guess, lighter port thing that you can use for storage. And then this is the very back. We only put, we already took one half of that row out. There's just some random stuff in that seat, but we cut that one in. I have strollers and chairs right there. And then I have, oh, I'm showing you guys the lights and the vents. Each row has two air vents, which is awesome. Especially when you have kids dispersed throughout the vehicle. You need airflow. So I've showed you guys that. This is the very back of the vehicle. You open it up. It locks right there. It doesn't go any further until you have to press a knob, which I will show you that in a second. But you open it up. As you see, there's not very much trunk space in here. But look, there is a plug-in back here. I don't know if I'm missing any other plug-ins in this car. I didn't, I can't, I don't really know. But there's that. That's the car seat tether. Then, of course, car seat or shoulder and chairs so that's pretty much the storage and that and, oh there's the magnetic little knob I apologize for the dirtiness of my vehicle it was washed like a week ago but you had to press that knob, knob right there and then it pulls the door all the way to the side in case you need to move it and it kind of just connects pretty pretty cool we really like that feature a lot and then the other one does it as well I don't show it in this video but it does pretty much the same thing so in case you need to open them all the way like that to fit anything in your vehicle and that's that so these are my kids a good idea of my kids getting in and out how easy it is because this vehicle is higher they don't really have trouble with it and then I show them getting out so yeah, that's about it. They do pretty well with it. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video with kind of my last bit of review on this vehicle uh, with my experience because I have been driving this car for eight months, so I have a bit of experience with it. Um, the biggest, my biggest issues have been parking. Parking has been a really big issue. You know, I, I'm not the best at parking and because it's so big, I do have to maneuver myself quite a bit still, but it's not, it's not super difficult. Um, I think, I think my biggest issue with the car, um, would be that I can't park in parking garages and with my family, we are a large family. We have eight in our family, six boys, six kids, and, um, we do have some medical issues that involve going to hospitals downtown and when you do go downtown in cities and stuff, their parking is usually in parking garages and we don't fit. So I usually have to find parking elsewhere. It's just one of my, I guess, things I don't really care for. Um, that's kind of annoying about it. Um, the other thing would be that the space, okay, so it doesn't have, I do miss what my minivan had before, which was the two sliding doors. It doesn't have two sliding doors. So that is kind of a bummer for me too, but it's not a huge issue. Um, the back, the reason we have the two seats out of the back, storage is a concern. But again, this is a passenger van. It's meant to carry passengers. Um, and I would say that they're gearing more now towards, I mean, tons of families have this vehicle. And there's a reason why. It, they fit your family. So if you're available, if you're able to take out the back two seats, it creates a larger area for, area for you to store um, whatever you need to. Like I have a stroller and chairs back there right now. But when we get groceries, that's where the groceries go. So those are my concerns. The uh, lack of storage space in the back. The... Parking is kind of an issue still because it's so huge, but you get used to that. And then um, number three, the doors, the sliding doors. But again, convenience issue. You know, don't have to have two doors. All in all, I love the vehicle. Like I said, like I was pointing to the little knob, the, the only issue I've been having that I might see is kind of like a mess up or defect maybe in the car. Maybe it's just me is the little volume knob. 
it's very sensitive when I touch it and turn it up and down. I don't know if anybody else has issues with that. I don't really know. But I do love this car. I can carry my family in it. If I need to, I can pull out that seat like we have out and fit other things. If anybody has any questions about this car that I didn't cover on anything I didn't cover, um, just feel free to comment down below and I will answer that. Oh, I also forgot to say, on the inside of the door, this is gonna be kind of a obnoxious thing that we just, I don't know. The door slides open and on the inside is a childproof lock, locking mechanism. Well, last week we went an entire whole week, maybe more of thinking that the door was broken because, um, and it's under warranty, I'm a brand new car. So we got it in 2017, but again, there was no used, when we looked around, there was no used models of this car. So we chose to get it brand new. So we thought that the door was broken. The door was not broken. It was just on child lock and we figured this out yeah, like a few days ago we figured out. We're like, how did we not realize? We've, been, we've had this car eight months and we didn't realize that it was locked. Whatever, things happen. So that's it, that's, our, that's my review on this car. If I don't know if I'm missing anything on it at this moment, all the features, I'm sure it might have more features that I haven't really experienced with yet because I just haven't had to. That's it, so. If you like this video, please like, and if you want to subscribe, please subscribe, and I will see you guys on our next vlog. Bye.